Not too long ago, my son had uh, he had burn wounds on his on his uh, face while well, he was frying eggs, and uh, the, there was water at, at, uh, at uh, the 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 frying pan, the wok, and uh, the oil splash spots here with a hot oil, and uh, it scalded his skin. So there were about more than seven or eight uh, burn wounds and dots here around his face, chin, and the neck. But my wife put the honey, honey and spread it on his wounds and he, and he healed in seven days. On the second day, that those wounds start to close up. And on the fifth day, they're just uh, pinkish. On the seventh day, his skin is back to normal, almost normal. But the funny thing is this, that in his wounds, I mean, in the, in, in the wounds that, he, that were healed, there were no scars. The healing is complete without scars. And I wonder why. As I checked into Google, that this, the skin of a human being is, the epidermis has got seven layers. And honey has this unique property to heal the skin. All seven layers concurrently at the same time. And as an engineer, it intrigued me why it's so special about this honey. Even if you use the medicines we apply orally on the wound. The wound will heal after a long time, and the the, the skin, the texture of the skin and the color will only only recover back for for a certain period of time. But it's not so with honey. The honey that my wife applied on this my son, it healed his skin in seven days. To me, that is unique. As I know, honey is sweet, but in this case, the sweetness there is medicine in it to heal the skin. And I discovered when you look at a plant, there is a sap. And when the sap, this sap comes from the root all the way to the, the branch and the twigs and the flowers. And I guess it is in the flowers that some of the properties, the healing properties of the, of the honey come from the plant. My interest grow deeper in wild honey. Why? Because if one plant can give you some medicinal properties, other plants have many other vari variety of healing properties. And if the bee can collect it from many plants, right, then you can safely think to say that in the hive, it's not only some sweet stuff, but in the hive is a rich property of chemical properties from the plant that can be of good use to us, some medicinal value. And I researched further into Google and I found out that Malaysia's rainforest is a place where there are a lot of plants. We are one of the 12 countries with the oldest rainforest in the world. And being called one of the 12 oldest, that means we have a large, large number of plants, maybe 13,000 or 15,000 plants of which 2,000 or 3,000 have known medicinal values. I begin to see that, you know, animals in the jungle may uh, fall sick, all right? But I don't see animals like giraffe or elephants, when they walk halfway in the jungle, you don't see them collapse out of heart attack or stroke. Why is it so? I believe they, their food is also their medicine. Their food is also consisting of leaves and uh, barks and uh, roots or whatever from the jungle, which has the medicinal properties that is incorporated in the food. So their food is also their medicine. And probably that's why you can see that uh, animals, though they fall sick, they are stomach they are in the, uh, discomfort, but they can get well by eating plants and they live to the full term. We may not be able to uh, eat plants to say like this, yeah? but we can have these properties by partaking it from the honey. If you take the honey, especially wild honey from the rainforest, matured honey, if I believe there's all the rich properties of antioxidants, anti-inflammatory properties for your arteries, nutrients that help our to fortify our red blood cells, all right, 
and enzymes that help us to absorb better, more calcium into our bones. We can live a more meaningful life if we watch what we eat and we incorporate the beautiful properties of the jungle into our food system, in our food and diet. So I encourage uh, to think again, what is honey to you? Is it something sweet and nice, flavorable thing with a nice fragrance? Or is it something that you believe there is med this strong and rich medicinal properties? Things that we call like phytonutrients, uh, phenols and uh, flavonoids which are antioxidant and anti-cancer. These, I believe, are the keys that are from the plants that help us to have a better life. Thank you.